show you how now to properly get in the bucket. So pull those lines just like that. And keep those lines in his hands. Because if your horse spoops or acts up, you've got, you've got control. We're going to drive everything with that little rope holder for schooling purposes because, you know, we don't want to lead him by his reins and we don't want to ever tie him by his reins. We want to do it just like this. Now he's going to take his side rope and he's going to tie that to his ring. He's going to tie a butterfly knot. So if he gets in a pickle, he can get off the cart and uh, pull that rope and control his horse. Okay. See how she's facing the wall, so she cannot bolt forward, and that allows him the opportunity to get in, get himself acquainted. See, he put his foot on the brake. And he's going to make her stand now until he's ready to move. Don't ever want your horse just to step off with you before you're ready. Stand. See how soft Malin's holding those reins. How quiet he is. Now, when he gets ready to move off. Okay. Something like that. See how those britchins are pulling? Now, one quick note. You heard him say G. Well, he'll say G. That means right. Call means left. Whoa means stop. Okay. Now back the pony up, Naomi. All right, can you G and haul a little bit? Okay. See, haul means left. So the old phrase, G and haul, and that's what that means. Okay. Okay, very nice. So now, can you, we real quickly, we'll unhitch everything, okay? So he's gonna get off, and he's gonna keep those lines in his hand. Don't get off without the, the uh, lines in his hand. Now mm. Malin's gonna demonstrate how to get off, keep the lines in his hand, okay? Mm. See how she wanted to step forward, and he was able to control her, that's fine. Another thing you can do, you can just take this lead rope and just hang it right over your arm like this as you're working. He's unhooked his traces and his hold back, and now what he's going to do is he's going to walk her right out of that cart. You know, the biggest problem people get into, horses get anxious and they get where they anticipate, and they want to step off before you have everything unhooked. So now he's going to just let that fall to the ground softly, and he's going to walk her out. So see why it's kind of nice to have that holder where he can kind of keep things in order where if you were to step forward or get unruly, you know, you, you've got control of your horse. So. You can scare the horse if the shaft drops to the ground. Yeah. Okay. Very good.